Well, severe weather can occur any time of the year, but we really start seeing severe weather ramp up when we start displacing the cold, dry air that has settled over the northern and central U.S. over the course of the winter months. When we get the warm, moist air coming up from the south and our jet stream, that river of wind aloft, the southern branch of the jet stream begins to move north for the spring season, that's when we start to ramp up the severe weather season. Well, severe weather generally occurs in the heartland, the central U.S., where we have that warm, moist Gulf feed coming on into some cool, dry air from the north. Those two air masses collide, and generally, right in the central part of the country is where we pick up most of the severe weather. Now, the severe weather can also occur across the southeast, where we have warm, moist air in place, and systems that pull into that region can feed off that warm, moist air to produce severe weather. Here in the U.S., we actually have a pretty unique setup. It actually allows for the development of thunderstorms right in the heart of the nation. All the ingredients coming together to produce more thunderstorms than anywhere else in the world. When it comes to tornadoes, tornadoes are actually concentrated in an area known as Tornado Alley. It generally stretches from southern South Dakota and Nebraska all the way back down into central Texas, from eastern Colorado all the way back out toward western Missouri. It's Tornado Alley where we see more concentrated tornadoes in a given year. There's another one called Dixie Alley, part of the southeast. Dixie Alley includes places like Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. And the severe weather season, tornado potential there starts in January, February, and March. In Tornado Alley, it's generally from March through April, May, and it even kind of extends into June. Well, a watch is issued when we are actually keeping an eye and watching for the potential for severe storms or even tornadoes. A warning is issued when severe weather is imminent. Either we have spotters reporting large hail or damaging wind gusts, or maybe a tornado has been spotted. So they issue a warning to give you that heads up. There are actually several things you can do leading into severe weather season. Get yourself a kit. Prepare one with bottled water, maybe some canned food, a flashlight, some batteries. Talk over a plan with your family. Where are you going to go if a severe thunderstorm or tornado warning is issued? If a warning is issued, you don't have much time to react. You want to make sure that you get to safety as fast as you can lowest level of whatever building you're in. If you're at a home that has a basement, get onto that basement. And by the way, don't worry about opening up windows. It's a myth. We used to talk about opening up the windows to relieve the pressure in the house. You don't have time to open up the windows and the pressure in the house isn't going to make a difference. Now, if you're in a house that doesn't have a basement, you want to get to an interior room away from windows and put as many walls between you and that outside storm as you possibly can. Thank you.